This is Grid, available on the PS3 and Xbox 360. What we're looking at is the 360 version, and what they don't tell you about Grid is that all of the cars that you're driving are weapons-grade sports cars. Not even the Batmobile could endure the kind of punishment that you dole out on these things. Seriously, Optimus Prime would have broken down after a crash like that, but not this Lamborghini. And who knows, maybe that's how they build Lamborghinis now. For the price they charge, they should withstand crashes like that. To actually crash your car, you really need to try and hit something head-on at full speed. That seems to do the trick. Grid is from the same people who brought us dirt. Not only do they make excellent driving games, but they're the masters of single-syllable, four-letter racing game titles. They've got to be running out of words at some point. I suggest they get down to three letters and just go with car. Or an unpronounceable symbol like Prince. Nice, dude. I'm in third. Most of what I'll say in my review of Grid is my opinion, and I like this game, but there's two facts that you cannot dispute. Number one, this game is smooth. The frame rate is a thing of beauty in this game. And number two, it's difficult. There's a ton of different settings that you can tweak to adjust the difficulty, but on the whole, this game is tough. The other drivers are fast, they're aggressive, and the courses are very challenging. Getting through all the races in Grid is no walk in the park. This is a tough game even if you can punish your cars beyond what they should really be able to physically withstand. I don't think that I got through a race in this game without my car looking like it came straight out of the Road Warrior. If only you could have added effects like bullet holes all over the car, lit it on fire, and then strapped bodies onto the front of it with chains and duct tape. That would have completed the effect. This has been one of the most requested game reviews that I've had here at Classic Game Room. And I've been looking forward to playing this game for a while. I, I had high expectations for it, and it's lived up to them. People have asked me, is it more like Forza or Gran Turismo, or like Burnout Paradise? It's definitely more on the Forza or Gran Turismo side. It's an arcade racer slash simulation racer. It has a wonderful in-cockpit view, as you can see, and the controls are fabulous. I'm not terribly keen on the menus or the way that the races are set up in the game. I actually think they did a better job in Dirt. And I suppose deep down I just want every game to have the same menu and race layout as Gran Turismo 2. But that's just a minor detail. More importantly, look at the sense of speed that this game gives you and it runs it perfectly smooth. As Dirt was a variety of different races that were off-road races like rally racing and running through the desert with UPS trucks, 
Grid is a variety of different on-road races, and that provides much of the challenge in the game because it requires you to master a number of different vehicles that all handle extremely differently. For instance, the Nissan Skyline does not drive the same as one of the open-wheeled race cars. I like that about Grid. It loses some of the Gran Turismo-style car collecting fun, but that's just a subjective thing. You do buy cars in the game. It's fairly easy to earn money, so you can buy Lamborghinis and Skylines and Supras and open-wheel racing rocket ships. The courses are challenging. There's a lot of very tight ones. The game takes some repeat gameplay to memorize some of these courses that you've never seen before. Because the other drivers are not easy to overtake, especially in some of the ones where it's easy to plow into a wall of tires or a truck that just happens to be sitting on the side of the course. In part two I'll cover some of the different race styles in more detail, but for the most part, if you like driving games and you like Forza and Gran Turismo, you cannot go wrong with grid. You're leading the race. 